Hello, in this self-help video, I am going to explain um, this, categorize the following events as positive or negative feedback effects on Earth's atmosphere. Watch the self-help video if you need to. So this is that self-help video. So in this assessment, you've already talked about what an environmental feedback loop is and what will a positive feedback loop do to the environment. So now you're categorizing these events as either positive or negative feedbacks. Right, so let's go to this first event and see what that really is. So the question is, tundra thaws, oceans warm, methane and carbon dioxide are released. So the tundra is frozen part of the Arctic, and when it thaws, the uh, ground underneath thaws, bacteria become more active, and when that happens, there is methane and carbon dioxide are released, methane is released as the carbon dioxide breaks down um, tissue that is decomposing or that is unthawing and the carbon dioxide is released from the ground and as that happens that causes the um, air to warm up uh, because the methane and carbon dioxide are greenhouse gases and they are trapping the heat as that happens more tundra warms up and it melts releasing more methane and carbon dioxide so if this is going on, then this must be a positive feedback. So that's what you have to do, is you have to figure out if these things are increasing or decreasing um, global warming, because we're looking at the effects on Earth's temperature. So if it's increasing Earth's temperature, then it's positive. If it's decreasing, then it's negative. After you do that, then you will have um, the second part of this, which is just multiple choice. Here you have to choose which word you want, and you have to circle it or highlight it. And then at the end, you have to look at um, ocean density, and you might have to do some research on this um, to tell me if it's becoming less dense or less ice or warm or rising or sinking or cold. You're going to use these words and fill them in here, Then you're going to answer these questions. Um, if you have any further questions, please see your science teacher.